Hey, what's going on guys? Kenny here. And today we're going to have a particularly useful tutorial because I don't think I've ever gone over how you actually debug a program, what actually happens when there's errors. And frankly, that's crucial to knowing how to program. So let's go ahead and do that. So I purposely removed a portion of code from our previous plugin that we created. If you want to know how to create this economy manager plugin by yourself from scratch, you can click on the annotation on the screen. Anyways, Let's go ahead. So I uh, went ahead and built this plugin and I'm adding it to um, the tutorial server and starting this, that server up. Okay, so now that we're in the game, let's go ahead and type uh, the command slash econ add. And normally you would put the player's name next, but I'm going to hit a player's name that hasn't played on the server yet or doesn't have an account. So something like that and any number. It says an internal error. Well, okay, what does that mean? So go ahead and go into the console. If we go ahead and minimize that and look over here, you're going to see a whole bunch of text and you're going to be like, well, what the heck is this? This is called a stack trace. You can usually see what the cause is here. It says no, but then if you scroll farther down, it'll say what it's caused by. So this is a null pointer exception, meaning that some sort of variable in the code is null. It doesn't exist. So it says at and it tells us the package name and then it's telling us the class right here java and then 37 is the line where it has is having this issue so let's go to econ command line 37 so econ command and line 37 okay set balance so it's obviously not having an issue with the args one because we're giving it the args one in the command now the only thing that it might be having the issue with is econ dot get balance and that would only return null if this didn't exist in the hash map. So if we go back to econ manager and look at how get balance is working and we look how get balance is working, we'll, we're seeing that it's giving a, we're giving it a string player and we're getting the value from the hash map. Okay. Well, this method is, is straight returning the balance. What if that balance doesn't exist? Well, in the hash map, then we need to have the check for that. So now I'll go ahead and add that back in and actually went right here tab over paste it in and now we're checking to make sure that they have an account and that's the extremely the basics of reading a stack trace and knowing knowing what it means i just want to say i just recorded that entire clip in one cut that's hard to do like normally this takes like five or six cuts maybe maybe for one clip but um I did it in one right there. I think that's pretty impressive. Anyways, this outro was obviously different. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, I've been working really hard on making a website for the, for the channel. And it's very close to being done. And it should have some great, great resources for you guys to use to develop your server. It's going to be awesome. And I just can't wait for it to be done. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.